Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, <clears throat> I am the agent authorized to represent Peyton Ansley John Milton. So are you Peyton Ansley John Milton? You don't know? It's, it's my understanding that I'm not allowed to answer that question directly, Your Honor. Okay. Well, that's, that's a misunderstanding. Uh, um, so it looks like Ms. Langley's your attorney, at least in one of these cases. Negative. I'm, a, I'm pro se. Actually. Okay. Well, then, if you're pro se, mm. means you're representing yourself, right. which makes must make you Peyton Ansley Milton, because Negative. someone pro se is uh, representing themselves. Mm. I'm not allowed to confirm or deny that from what I understand, Your Honor. Why are you here? To, to represent myself. Okay. I understand. Hang on just a second. Here. Ms. Langley, I'll be with you in a second here. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll take a seat. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to talk for a minute. All right. Absolutely. So, Peyton Milton, you kind of we've kind of went round and round with each other about whether you are or whether you aren't Peyton Milton. I can only include that you are Peyton uh, Milton simply because at some point you said you're here to represent yourself. Peyton Milton is the person charged. So if you're here representing yourself, you must be representing Peyton Milton. You must be Peyton Milton. And well, so, so I'm not sure. done talking yet. Absolutely. And so um, just in looking things here, um, Peyton Milton has a few issues going on. For one, he's got a warrant, um, a felony warrant out of Skagit, Skagit County Superior Court for an animal cruelty charge. He needs to take care of that. He's also got a DUI out of uh, Thurston County District Court, and um, I'm going to tell you whether or not a court date has been set for that or not. At the moment, uh, um, no court hearing has been set on that. Um, Peyton Milton on April 11th was in front, which is just a few days ago. Um, well, I guess maybe a little over a week ago now, about two weeks ago now, uh, I was in front of the court, he was released, and um, Thurston County Public Defense was, was appointed. Um, that can change if you wish to represent yourself uh, um, or not. Um, that's fine, one way or the other. And then there's this case, which might actually be the least of your worries. It's a criminal trespass. But least of Peyton Milton's uh, uh, worries. There's a criminal trespass out of the city of Lacey. It was alleged to have occurred on March 31st. Uh, bail's been posted. And uh, this is what's known as a pretrial. Pretrial is the opportunity to resolve the case short of trial. A lot of times someone's represented by an attorney. They'll speak with the prosecuting attorney. Someone's represented by, def uh, someone represents himself. They can speak to the, uh, speak with the prosecuting attorney to resolve the case somehow. If the case doesn't resolve, then the case gets set for trial, and then there'll be a jury trial, and then the um, uh, then a jury will determine whether uh, the person accused, Peyton Milton, they might at a threshold uh, place, they may determine whether you, if whoever, depending on who shows up, whether that person is Peyton Milton uh, um, or not, and then the jury will decide one way or the other as to whether um, you found guilty um, or not guilty of the crime charged. So um, that's where we're at. And if uh, um, you know, you're know you here, um, again, you said you're representing yourself. And if you want to resolve the case here, we, I'll give you a chance to speak with the, the city. If not, we're going to set it on the tri trial track. And uh, we're going to set it to the last known Peyton Milton's address. And if, Peyton, if you show up and represent yourself as Peyton Milton at the trial, which you certainly have a right to do, a jury will determine one way or the other as whether or not you're guilty or not guilty of a uh, criminal trespass. I will sell you, tell you in a minute where the notice, it's important that you get it, where the notice that you, for your, the DUI, 
um, is charged when make sure make sure you get that it's going to be important that, that you get that so in terms of whether well I don't have to answer that question or not I mean that's not I'll, I will tell you that's not getting you anywhere and so it's just not and so I guess we, what I want to know from you is where we're going to go for this case today. Is this case going to resolve today or does it need to be set for trial? Well, I am looking towards a resolution. Unfortunately, I have not been able to contact Matthew Sharp as okay. of yet, despite reaching out to him. Um, I have some ex exhibition lists here to uh, put in. Uh, okay, so just, just okay, don't, you don't need to raise your voice. You can just, sure. so. Just so um, the, in terms of the, their exhibits, not exhibitions, ah, but you. exhibits, uh, um, you know, those are for trial if you want to convince the jury. And so if you want, if you, if, if you're of the position, you didn't, um, you know, give you an opportunity to speak with them now. You can step out, go off the record, and if you can resolve the case here now, that's fine. If not, then we'll tee it up for jury trial and go from there. You can stay seated. Okay. You don't need to get up. And so, Mr. Schbutt, I am also going to hear from him. I'm not going to force him into doing anything he doesn't want to. Absolutely. So, Mr. Sharp, uh, uh, what's your position on all of this? Okay, well, a, a few things. Um, you know, I point out at the first hearing, Mr. Miller was held on bail, and he also shared um, at the time that he wanted access to a computer to work on his defense. And okay. so, actually put a lot of time in thinking how to make that happen and mm. put a discovery packet together and then found out that he was able to post the bail. So. Um, I've got the discovery to deliver to Mr. Milton, Mr. Peyton Milton, if that's who this is and he'll take it. Um, we've printed off everything that can be printed off. There were a few things that are video. You can't print a video, of course, so they're on a USB uh -huh. drive, hopefully in a universal of enough of a format. Um, and being out, I, I trust that Mr. Milton can now access a computer to do what he's got to do with that. Uh, well, so again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you there for a second uh -huh. because I didn't realize where we were on discovery. And um, he can give that to you, but you, this is where you do got to admit your Peyton Milton, because he's got a responsibility to give that either to the defendant or the defendant's attorney. And uh, um, and if you if you want that discovery right now, you again, then you do have to agree that you're Peyton Milton. I am the agent authorized to represent him. No, that's that not that's that's the, again, you're not. You, okay, look, I, look <laughs> um, again. I have. Okay, stop. Oh, stop. Sure, sure. Stop. Okay. Sure. So, uh, um, Respect you, Your Honor. thank you. Being the agent for Peyton Milton isn't good enough. Unless you're a practicing, unless you're an attorney with a bar number, then you can represent Peyton Milton. You're either Peyton Milton representing yourself or a third person representing Peyton Milton, which you can get the discovery. If you're, if you're a third person representing, uh, not Peyton Milton, representing Peyton Milton, then you don't, unless you're an attorney, then you don't get discovery. So that's where we're at. Well, unfortunately, Your Honor, if I am a layman as I claim to be, and mm -hmm. as a layman, I'm not made to understand the law as yourself, Your Honor, and Matthew Sharp over here as an attorney who has passed the bar, then I'm not really certain uh, where to proceed as a, as being in front of your capacity as a neutral arbiter. This is, uh, I'm simply here to put in the exhibit list for who is known as Peyton Ansley John Milton in all capital letters on the court docket in front of you so that my <clears throat> bail would not be revoked and uh, I would have to be incarcerated and refuse my reasonable accommodations to defend myself pro se as the agent authorized to represent Peyton Ansley John Milton in all capital letters. Good city author. An idea. Uh, <laughs> I'll point out last time. I was at a hearing with Mr. Milton. We were working on just these two cases with Lacey. So there, there's a second one with Lacey, Your Honor, if you didn't catch that. There's a assault case that's on a stipulated order of continuance from, yes. from just a, a month or two ago. But since then... Did he have an attorney on that? No. Okay. That, that was, well, Ms. Langley was originally. She's no longer. Okay, but did she sign off on that on that agreement? Was she yes. representing him for the resolution? Yes, Your Okay, Honor. all right. Um, was that and so and you agree that you entered that resolution? March twenty second. Are you speaking with me or Matt? Yes. Um, I have paperwork here that has no signatures from anybody in regards to the simple assault right. and the SOC. I've just acquired that today, as a matter of fact. So, so all that's coming as news to you? That's a good question. Um, I do know that I have a motion here to suppress an SOC dated on three twenty two. Um, signed under duress of life, liberty, and freedom being threatened without just cause. 
So, Your Honor, I'm sorry. I was in the middle of the thought there. Since that all happened, now there are the state charges too, and that's maybe more serious, the DUI and the obstructing charge. And I understand counsel was appointed there. Maybe I'm mistaken. That's what the docket says. It does say that. So I was going to suggest the court inquire with Mr. Milton again, because it's more complex now with state cases involved. The stakes are higher for sure. Um, whether he still wants to proceed pro se, I mean, I'm hearing, you know, the the disadvantage of being pro se is real. Um, but if there's counsel on the state case, maybe that's an option here. Also standby counsel may be a beneficial option. I, I There was some obvious friction with Ms. Langley, but she's not the only attorney available. Right. What's to alleged to have happened in this criminal trespass? I'm just curious. Allegations. Uh, being on the premises at a convenience store. At where? When when store. he'd been trespassed? That's the allegation. Allegedly. Yeah. These are just allegations. Yeah, absolutely. So you wish to represent yourself? Uh, as the agent authorized to represent Peyton Ansley John Milton, that is correct, sir. Okay, I'll Your take office. that as a yes. Okay. If you ever, <laughs> um, and you're not a lawyer. Well, obviously. Did you pass the bar, so the bar exam in Washington State? Well, we're waiting. Do you understand why I'm asking these questions? Uh, as a layman, I'm not meant to, but. No. As the agent authorized to represent myself, I do. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Well, I'm going to explain it to you anyway. Appreciate that. You have you have the right to represent yourself, yeah. and um, and so you. But everybody also has a right to be represented by an attorney. And if you can't afford an attorney, I can appoint an attorney to represent you, either Ms. Langley or again, if that doesn't work, there is. She's not the only attorney on contract. The concern is is when um, uh, if someone goes to trial without an attorney, then get convicted, then on appeal, they can say, oh, I wasn't effectively represented because I chose to represent myself. Mm -hmm. As a judge, I'm required to ask a few questions just to make sure that you're going into this um, uh, process with your eyes open and you understand fully what's at risk. That's why I'm asking. I'm just putting on the record to say whether you're a lawyer or not. I understand that, okay. and so, And so again, I'll, I'll ask it again. Uh, um, I understand uh, that I'm at a huge deficit here okay. representing myself okay. pro se. Great. And so, um, but the answer to the question is you're not a lawyer. You're, you're... As a layman, I'm not meant to understand the law in the same manner as you, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, so as a layman, so I'll, when right. you say as a layman, I'm going to take that to mean that you're not a lawyer and did not pass the bar exam. That is that fair? That would have to be true okay. as a neutral arbiter well, in your position. Mm -hmm. Nothing necessarily has to be true. Mm. And so, and you had already said, you understand that you'll be at a, at a di uh, disadvantage and that Mr. Sharp is an attorney. Uh, um, he knows the rules of um, you know, procedure, rules of evidence. And uh, whereas you might not be as well acquainted with those as he is, you agree with that? Yes, okay. I would feel foolish disagreeing with that. Okay. And then have you, have you ever conducted a trial before? No, I'm a... Uh... I'm excited for the experience. Why? I'm sick with it, Your Honor, to put it in uh, Western Pacific Northwest slang terms. I don't, I don't understand that answer. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm a Kung Fu teacher internationally, and I have a, an interest in law on the side. Uh, I'm a Kung Fu teacher internationally, and I have a, an interest in law on the side. Oh. My, my passport that was stolen from me uh, the same night that I was under arrest for the first simple assault that is being brought up today concerned me because the same day I was uh, neglected having somebody who had broken the law against me search from the same officer that arrested me for defending a senior citizen, which 
uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I regret to, uh, to digress or inform that I'm not a criminal, you know, I'm, I'm really just going through this because I have faith in the system that if I'm not doing anything against the community standard that should be being held up by people in the position of level zero government, sovereign citizen officials, um, there should be no reason why I wouldn't be allowed to offer witness and testimony from my exhibit list to clear my name of this criminal trespassing in the first degree to hopefully clear off this simple assault charge that I went out on a leap of faith that my justice system would take care of me um, in, in defending it. Does that, does that answer the question? It, it doesn't. No, I just because don't. Because really let me, much. let me. Because let me here, here's here's my perspective on this, and sure. we'll we'll get through this here right? um, pretty quickly because I have an idea of what's going to happen here today. Um, well, first of all, let me let me back up a little bit. Are you aware that Peyton Milton had a warrant, a felony warrant out of Skagit County? I've never been officially made aware of this okay. by any. Consider yourself make aware of it now. You sure. have that warrant. Sure. We need to take care of that. Yes. Um, and uh, here's the thing. Mm. So criminal trespass in the grand scheme of things, that's far from the most serious type of offense we, we um, see around here. DUI is a little bit more serious. That carries with it some fairly m more harsh consequences, I guess, the way it is, the way it is. And most people, you have said yourself a couple of times, well, as a layman, I'm really not familiar with the with the court. Most people, pretty much all people in your situation, when they come in a situation where they're not familiar how things work and uh, um, lay people who aren't uh, as sophisticated or understanding the rules of evidence and sophisticated in their knowledge. You might be very sophisticated, but sophisticated knowledge or awareness of the rules of evidence, rules of criminal procedure and so forth. You know, when they get the opportunity to get an attorney, they jump at it because this attorney has been through here on a daily basis. And just let me finish, please. I let you finish. So let me. And so they want to take advantage of uh, um, the expertise of that attorney. And again, the attorneys who are public defense, they're here every day. They may not seem like it, but they seen just about everything under the sun, including this, you know, the routine about red agents and on their behalf and all that sort of stuff. This isn't news to me, Mr. Sharp, or anyone else who may be appointed to represent you. I've yet to see it be successful, though. Who knows? You might be the first. I doubt it. But anyway, most people take advantage of that. But you do have the right to represent yourself if, if you wish to do that. Based on you know comments that you have made combined with what Mr. Sharp has um, has said, and that you're here made the comment that you um, are here to represent yourself, um, I am going to make a finding that you are um, Peyton Ansley, have gone by the name Peyton Ansley John Milton. You were the person who was arrested on this and posted bail and are now here. And in that respect, you can provide him the discovery that's available. You can give him right now. I don't see Mr. Sharp, unless you disagree with me, based on everything I've seen thus far, I tend to doubt any sort of resolution is gonna be reached here today. And so I would just be inclined to set this for trial and then uh, we'll go from there. And if you change your mind about an attorney, uh, um, you, can, you can do that. So the address we have for Peyton Milton. And mail needs to be set on that. Again, that DUI, you shouldn't ignore. Oh, absolutely. Good, go, don't go to sleep on that DUI. And again, I don't know what happened in Skagit County. I can look here in a minute. But um, notice on that DUI is going to be sent to um, that address. Pretty, are we pretty sure Peyton's going to get it? 5213. That's it. <clears throat> There's no excuses that could be articulated that he would not receive that piece of mail. Um, Good to hear. I Does like he have a cell phone where we can send text reminders to? Your Honor? Well, I can't say no to that. I do have to <clears throat> express that all my physical possessions or all of Peyton Nancy John Milton's physical possessions were stolen from him on 316 
for the original arrest. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, then if you don't have one, you don't have one. Not everyone does. Well, I do have access to the phone number as it is through an application. But yeah. mail would work a whole lot better. Well, we would do both. Perfect. But before you go, last thing I'm going to do, just to let you know, mm. uh, um, looks like charges were filed. The affidavit of probable cause was filed on March 2nd, 2022. There's been no... Um, March 2nd. Of 2022, over a year ago. Oh. And um, there was a declaration of mailing on March 27th. Uh, there was a motion hearing on March 20. There was a declaration of mailing on March 7th. Now, was that mail? Let, let me finish, sent? please. I don't know where it was sent. That's okay. Gadget County Superior Court. I can't say it. Gotcha. But I will say that on um, March 7th, it was a declaration of mailing. On March 22nd, a motion hearing was held and a warrant was issued. So that warrant's been out for a little over a year. Mm. So you need to pay it. That's a felony. To have a warrant out for no, a year. Gotcha. It's a, it's a gotcha. felon. It's a charge out of Superior Court, which gotcha. makes it a felony. Right. It's animal cruelty in the first degree, and I don't know anything about it other than that. And with that, Mr. Sharp, unless you have any other comment, that'll conclude today's hearing. I just like to clarify for Mr. Milton's benefit, if he decides that he would like to work with an attorney. I understand that the process would be you call the court and ask just for a hearing to be reviewed for appointment at any time. Um, it would need to be scheduled and it'd probably take a little while to, I think it'd schedule probably a couple weeks out, but Mr. Milton, if you decide you want to do that, that would be the way you just call the court and ask for it. May I uh, um, please approach and disperse these uh, exhibit lists? Well, my... you can you can give it to, if Mr. Sharp will accept it, sir, you can give it to him. May I give you this copy? I mean, we don't. Is it case number is a copy, so I'll, I'll point out that an attorney would know the proper way to do this and whether to file it concurrently with the court or not. This looks on my way to your building. This looks like walking. an original. Uh, I have three originals technically here, but they all have the same. Thank you. Just have to go. And I'll Mr. Your... Sharp, does he have your contact information? Do you want to extend? I'll leave your phone number. Thank you. Would, would you like this for your clerk? Um, I'll take it. Yeah, we go. So if it's the same thing, is this identical to what you got, Mr. Sharp? I didn't get it examined for. I didn't get a look at it for that, Your Honor. But I can check the court file later to verify. Appreciate that. I'll receive whatever this is right now. Forgive are these me, I'm okay? Are these witnesses? Sick. Are these witnesses you <laughs> wish to call? Yes. Uh, okay. <clears throat> these are uh, witnesses who have agreed to uh, provide witness or and or testimony, uh, whether it be written or okay. appearing before the court. Do you know how to get those witnesses in front of the court? I have already made contact with Gates and gotten her to uh, to agree that she would be willing to testify or okay. provide and testimony. Again, I was a yes or no question. Yes. Okay. The answer is yes. Uh, I don't think on, you do because you need to do more at than least that. Two. I've I've made contact with two out of the six. Um, one of them is the arresting officer um, that I want. Uh, to testify. I'm for. reasonably confident that the city will uh, subpoena Precisely. Him. Precisely. So. So, and again, I'm not going to, mm. I guess, I know I said this was over, but um, mm. I, I'm going to try one more time here. Um, You know, that's not enough to get a witness in front of the court just to go talk to him and say, hey, would you mind showing up? And if they say, yeah, that, that doesn't do it. Right. That's why I'm uh, preparing witness and testimony, uh, written, signed statements. Yeah, dated. That's, you're not going to be able to give written testimony. Uh, if that, no, if, someone, if you just ask someone and they day. choose not to show up, right. you, can't, you can't give a written statement. Precisely. So I'll have to get written statements, signed, dated, and then have them show up as a witness. Is yeah, that correct? But... but yeah, but there's a process to, to to get them to show up. Okay. And you and you don't you clearly don't know what that is. I believe I've begun it effectively and properly. All right. Um, you know, and I and I can't. I'm probably Mr. Sharp's over there thinking there. I've gone too far already. I can't be the one to tell you how to do it because that's I can't sit there and tell him what to do. You don't want me to do that. I can't sit there and tell you what to do or the defense attorney, and that wouldn't be fair either. And so we have to get together before the next court. Date. You know, he doesn't have to do that. Oh, uh, and hang on, just, just sure, you're talking to me. Sure. I'm talking right now. Absolutely. Right? And so when you prepare witnesses and, and get them into court, there's there's a way you 
you know, any defense attorney would know how to do. And you clearly don't. And so I just, I'm just telling you this, just so you hope you go into this with with, with open eyes. And uh, um, so I get, I get a, I have a feeling, I'm I'm picking up that you know, and I and I'm sorry for being blunt. Is you, you really don't know, you know. And again, this is criminal trespass, which again, it's not the end of the world. You really don't know what you're doing. You really don't. And uh, um, I think it would be to your great benefit to have someone with you who actually does. And that's and that and that's as far as I'm going to go with. It. And again, the opportunity is right now. We could still appoint someone. Mr. Sharp has said, and I agree with him. If you want to contact the court and get an attorney, but uh, um, one was been appointed in that in that DUI, and I don't know whether you're going to reject her or not either. But uh, right, as of right now, you have an attorney in that DUI, and you'd be doing yourself a huge disservice if you approach that case the same way you're approaching this one. Which I again, that. which I again I. Maybe I'm going too far in saying that, but uh, um, I appreciate your expertise. Yeah, I've, I've seen a few. I've been I've been at this for a few years there, Mr. Milton, and I've seen a few people represent themselves, and I don't know that I've ever seen it go well. well With that, and that's going to be my last comment on this. If you'll conclude the hearing, you're free to go. Thank and you. Then your keep Honor. your eye in the mail. We'll see you back here at the next. I don't see any point in a pretrial. We'll just set up for a trial. No, but I would okay. like to give you my.